Lola, let's go play, sweet pie. Let's go play. Ready? Lola, go. Go, Lola, go, Lola, go, Lola, go, Lola. Yay! Pets unequivocally love hydrogen water, and we're gonna talk about today hypochlorous acid and how to use it with your pets. First off, what is hypochlorous acid? Hypochlorous acid is water with a little bit of salt here in our disinfecting spray bottle found over at Healthy Hydration. And what we do is we charge it up and then we put the cap on here, we push the button. And in five minutes, we make hypochlorous acid, which kills all bacteria and germs. MRSA, staph, gangrene, AIDS virus, E. coli, salmonella kills every single living organism in 30 to 60 seconds, but yet it's not toxic. You can use it on your countertops, your toilets, your sinks, your mirrors, and of course, on the skin, it's an oxidizer, it ages things. And so if you have a wound or your pet has a wound, the veterinarians use it, it's called vetricin, and the hospitals use it, it's called myosin and it sells for a very expensive price. For a little bottle, you're looking about 30 to $50, and you can create endless supplies of it here with our disinfecting spray. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna have our dog Lola here. She's gonna be showing you, if your dog has tear stains, how to use hypochlorous acid to help the protein structures off the eyes. You're just gonna take a cloth here, and you're gonna spray our disinfecting spray and you're just gonna pat under the eyes and like magic, <laughs> it will disappear those swollen eyes as well as any tear stains your pet might be having because they're drinking out of chlorinated water. We're now going to bathe Lola. So those of you that have animals out there and they seem like they have irritation of the skin, possibly skin allergies, what will happen is they'll notice them licking their paws, they'll get really itchy, they might have some dandruff. Well, that is an indication that there's allergies. And hydrogen is very powerful for helping any skin issues with animals and with people. So we'll be going through that in another video. So what we're about ready to do here is we're gonna fill up our kitchen sink here. Lola is gonna be coming in. We have warm water right now. This is tap water. We have a whole house water system, so there's no chlorine in this water. Chlorine can also irritate skin. We have our Hydro Deluxe here, so if you have the Hydro Deluxe, it makes hot, hot water. So you can go ahead and turn the temperature gauge up. And you got the hydrogen infused in the water in this one. If you don't have the Hydro Deluxe, you can also have our server. This is under the counter, hydrogen water here. And if you don't have that, we do have the hydrogen sports bottle shot, the Hydro Shot. And then we also have our home unit here that was in your countertop. You can also make the hydrogen. Now we also came out with a new shower head that has hydrogen in it. Two forms, a slow and a fast acting, and vitamin C, minerals for the skin, and lavender. Lavender is really powerful for inflammation. It just makes you feel calm. So we're gonna go ahead and let this build up here. You wanna make sure you have shampoo that is organic. There's no toxins in that because that will also irritate your skin. And then we will be putting Lola here in the bath in just a moment. All right, Lola, let's go ahead and soak yourself in the hydrogen-rich bath. Those of you that have inflammation in your skin, maybe you have arthritis or any kind of inflammation, the hydrogen water is exceptional for that too. Your body will soak in the antioxidants right through the skin. And so what you also wanna do is you don't wanna put the shampoo directly on the pet's skin because that can build up in the skin and cause irritation. So you just wanna mix it in a cup like that so it's getting diffused easy. Okay, Lola, she's such a good sport. All right, okay, we'll let her come over here and then we'll talk a little bit about, so maintenance, the weekly maintenance with dogs that have allergies. You want to make sure you have our disinfecting spray bottle or hypochlorous acid. So this is gonna go over the top of her skin and it's gonna help maintain her skin coat and it's gonna help irritation, it's gonna help oxidation. And so you can do this a couple times a week. So after your grooming regimen, you're gonna use this to spray the dog down. And we're gonna go ahead and do that with her now. And so you can see, so we push the button here, we've added a little bit of salt, salt conducts electricity, it makes it more powerful, but this will destroy bacteria and germs as well. And she's being such a good sport. And you wanna make sure to get the paws that they're licking their paws a lot. Because a lot of pets that lick their paws will have irritation of the skin and this hypochlorous acid does such a great job. And you can also get a little spray bottle if you'd like, and you can use the hydrogen shot or the any of the waters 
and you can put it into a spray bottle and do the same thing that you can do here with anti-inflammatory. So this one will be anti-inflammatory. This will be irritation and uh, redness of the skin. So this would be here, and then you can finish it off with this. Okay, well, Lola is set. Let's go next to brushing her teeth. This information can also be used with people as well. So if you have any gingivitis, any irritation of the gums, you can absolutely brush your teeth with the hypochlorous acid. And so we are gonna go ahead and examine her mouth here in a minute, and we're gonna use the hypochlorous acid. We are just going to dip the toothbrush in it, and then we're gonna brush. Now it's important after we do that to also go over the top after our, we're done with the hydrogen water, because we wanna put an antioxidant back onto the, onto the gum tissue. So you have the oxidation, which this one creates the healing process. Your body sends out natural oxidation. Your body actually makes hypochlorous acid. Sends that out and helps to heal things faster. So you're assisting your body when it already naturally does. So this will help any kind of itises oxidize. Now this one here is gonna help with the inflammation of the gums. So you have two different waters here, two different things that we're doing. Okay, so Lola, let's let's go ahead and go ahead and help you out a little bit, puppy. So if they have really bad breath in cats, you really don't have to do it too much. But um, good, good, good job, very good. And so for the demonstration purposes, we're not gonna you know, get all in there, but at home, of course, you're just gonna brush, 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 and you can do this a couple of times a week until you see a measurable improvement. So that's the hypochlorous acid. And then with this one, the easiest thing to do at the end, instead of brushing, get yourself a syringe, depending on the size of your dog, and just put it in the syringe and then you'll flush the mouth at the end with the hydrogen water here, the anti-inflammatory effect, okay? So that is gonna be how you're gonna brush your dog's teeth with the hydrogen water. And lastly, I wanna introduce you to Vetricin. So if you go to your local pet store or your veterinarian, they're gonna sell Vetricin. So Vetricin, the first ingredient in here is hypochlorous acid. So that's what this is, it's hypochlorous acid and they're stabilizing ingredients because here, it takes five minutes to make it, but it's not gonna last forever. Here, they put ingredients in it to make it stabilize on this shelf. So it's used for wound care. It's used for flushing the eyes. It's used for anything topical that's irritating the skin. So that's Vetricin. This here will cost you around $30. So you can eliminate the need for this. Have yourself the hypochlorous acid here. So thank you, Lola, for being such a doll for us today and showing the audience how you can use hydrogen and hypochlorous acid on pets. So. Not only can they drink it, they can use it on their skin as well and in their mouth. Thank you, Lola.